Rossville Boulevard is one of just 13 communities to receive grant money by the EPA to address their food desert. The agency is also teaming up with some local organizations to provide additional solutions. News 12's Keenan Scott joins us now live in the studio to go over, over those with us. Keenan. Emily, that's right. Crabtree Farms is one of those organizations that will be participating in virtual workshops where the community will get to voice their thoughts on the food situation along Rossville Boulevard. Here's what they had to say. I'm exactly two miles from three different food cities. So I'm equal distance to all of them, but that's my closest food sources. Jasmine LeBlanc lives along Rossville Boulevard, which has now come to be known as a food desert. But through her work with Crabtree Farm, she's hoping to come up with solutions. And the farm is a great example of how we're able to grow food, sell food, and create an ecosystem around there. And since it's an asset we already had in our community, we thought it'd be a great starting point. Jasmine's referring to a set of virtual workshops coming in late September where the public can brainstorm solutions. It's a collaborative effort with other local agencies such as the Boulevard. At this point, we haven't had a comprehensive plan um, to help us look at how we can uh, in increase availability to local foods for our residents um, and all the things that come with that. Topics covered will be wide ranging. We also might look at sidewalks or walk and um, walking routes to places, lighting, um, issues of safety. So kind of looking at the whole picture to see how um, we can improve access to healthy local foods for people who live here. Crabtree Farms is just one of the many local players that hopes to contribute to those virtual workshops by offering fresh local options for the communities in Rossville Boulevard suffering from the food desert. We just really want to get that dialogue going and figure out how we can target food as what drives our community forward. And to register for those virtual workshops, you can visit our website, WDEF.com. Live in studio, Keenan Scott, News 12 Now.